Hi and welcome to week 17 of U.S. History. So this is a special week that wraps up with a student-led conference at the MAS. Uh, this week we're going to um, talk about the concept of student-led conferences and the rich historical narratives in terms of material of 19th century America. So let me skip to the next slide. Okay. So we're going to start by explaining what the essence and deciphering what a student-led conference is. So this groundbreaking approach empowers students to transcend the traditional confines of assessments. They take the helm, presenting their profound understanding of the subject, as well as presenting their reflection. So it goes beyond a mere evaluation. It's a holistic reflection cultivating a deep sense of ownership and responsibility for their learning outcomes. Uh, this method not only promotes accountability, but nurtures critical thinking and self-awareness. For the second part, we will transition uh, into preparation for the student-led conference. So students will be actively engaged in a comprehensive review of their own goals, of their own journey throughout uh, the, the course. And this goes beyond just a cursory revisiting of content. Uh, students are gonna delve into personal connections with historical events, documenting their intellectual growth, utilizing tools like journals and collaborative platform, platforms. They're weaving a captivating narrative that encaps encapsulates their unique US history learning journey. So this process, not only reinforces historical knowledge, but also enhances their ability to critically analyze and synthesize information, as well as improve the course itself. In terms of the presentation phase, students are going to articulate their reflections, goals, strengths, and areas of improvement. These presentations, um, they're not really mundane because um, not only will they be talking about personal anecdotes, but it's a, a holistic lens where they will portray their U.S. history learning journey. Uh, it's not a monologue. It's more of an invitation for their peers, for their parents to partake in a dynamic dialogue, exploring the histor historical tapestry collectively. The presentations uh, can become a medium for exchange of ideas. Uh, students can learn from one another. There might be some ideas uh, that they haven't thought of, things that they might find interesting that might pop up. So that'll be a very good collaborative learning environment. Uh, as in terms for the material for U.S. history, once we are done with the student-led conference preparations, we're going to transition to the late 19th century public debate over big business. Um, so the tide of industrialization surged. The nation grappled with the dualities of large corporations. Uh, proponents passionately championed economic prosperity, so they were extolling the virtues of efficiency and progress. Uh, concurrently, critics fervently highlighted the dark side, that being monopolistic practices, exploitation of the workforce, and the erosion of smaller enterprises. This discourse laid the bedrock for modern economic paradigms. It was a period of ideological clashes, shaping the socioeconomic landscape that we still navigate to this day. So diving deeper into the issue, we're going to scrutinize the impact of business practices on workers during the late 1800s as well. So the thriving big businesses of the era brought forth a harsh reality for the workforce. They had long, hour, long hours, meager wages, and uh, difficult and dangerous conditions. The narrative expands to encompass uh, the emergence of labor movements, uh, labor unions, for example, you might have heard of, say, teacher unions or uh, labor unions uh, here in Jordan and worldwide. So those are a testament to the resilience of the workforce. This historical exploration becomes imperative in comprehending the roots of contemporary, uh, contemporary labor practices. So in today's modern corp corporations, you might get things like medical insurance, um, you might get privileges like days off, um, many days off that are your right for a year and so on and so forth. 
The roots of that came from the late 1800s through the labor movements. So to conclude, uh, we're going to take a look at student-led conferences, prepare and work through them, and then we're going to move to a, a participation in, uh, in discussion about the pros and cons of big business in the form of a debate. And together, we're going to uh, navigate the intricate connections between past and present. We're going to see how the past has led to, the, to today and what it could mean for tomorrow. Thank you.